Kenwood. Hello, my name is Wolf Mulder and I'm with JVC Kenwood Canada. And I'm here today to talk to you about a common accessory that we all use in our vehicles. It's the 12 volt to USB adapter. This adapter of course allows us to charge and power our mobile devices. What we've observed is in isolated instances where these devices can create enough interference that they severely compromise communication using your two-way radio, but also it could interfere with your broadcast receiver. Now just to give you an example, a demonstration of some of the interference that these USB adapters gives off. And uh, I'll just plug unit in here. It's plugged in. Now I'll turn on the power supply and you'll see on the spectrum analyzer that there's a good 15 to 20 dB of RF interference that's being created in the VHF frequency band. Now what we've basically done is we've canvassed the office and uh, talked to a number of our uh, staff members and asked them about the USB adapters that they're using. Now this is a shorter USB adapter so it doesn't quite fit in um, to our 12 volt adapter here. So what I've got is a, a shallower adapter basically power up this unit and then you can observe that when we turn on this adapter that we're looking at approximately 25 to 30 dB of noise and descents that effectively can take what is a clear received communication and interfere with it to a point where it knocks it off the air. Okay, in this example again we want to demonstrate the level of interference coming from this USB adapter is enough to completely desense and interfere with the receiver. The receiver right now is receiving a signal approximately minus 80 dBm. We turn on the USB adapter and basically all communication is lost. Again you can see that noise floor increase. So, okay. This is obviously a significant concern when you're relying on your two-way radio communication and you have a device like this interfering with that. So again, we're receiving a signal at minus 84 dBm. And this adapter, not quite as severe as the first adapter. You can still see a significant increase in the noise floor. And you can hear the noise in the background. We've almost completely lost contact with the individual transmitting. And again, that's at a signal of minus 84, 85 dBm. And number three on the USB adapter test today, you can also see that the level of interference is enough to create a little bit of noise and static with the received signal, but not enough to completely knock it off the air. A little bit of an increase on the noise floor when you're looking on the spectrum analyzer, but again, not as severe as the first two USB adapters. And then we're just demonstrating some of the other USB adapters that we have here today. And really, they're not creating that much of, a, of an interference source. Maybe a slight increase in the noise floor, but again, not enough to interfere with communication completely. Again, just another. So again, you've seen, you've heard, You've basically witnessed how severe the interference can be from some of these devices. And again, all these devices are found at your local convenience store, your big box store, vary in price from $5 upwards to $30, $40. But again, if you're looking at troubleshooting interference, take a close look at your adapter. If you're using one, 
it potentially could be the source of your interference. Kenwood.